amazing host and host and he's gonna have many more amazing people on his show yeah. and I just hope that you guys grow with him on his journey and you know we never know how big this is gonna get so yeah. let's just see where you take this take this juice to and oh 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 alright kale ke tuka mo le ke tuka mo le le dipilo ke na le ngwa ga tsa tharo ke betsa comedy marapo video la me ke go felo ke batla go tshona le tempo ke batla go tshona khalefo ke swana ka thata ke tindo 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 ya tindo ya tindo Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Where my people at? Where my people at? Gap City B Dub, Africa, the rest of the world. What's going on? My name is Tiki on the Juice 2.0 in the second hour. As you love it, as you want it, as you would have it flow, the juiciest entertainment news. I need you to put your hands together and make welcome this amazing young lady. Her name is Kim. Oh yeah. That's right. That's right, that's right. Good morning. Morning. How, How you are doing? you? Good morning <laughs> to the world out there. Sunny Bonani. <laughs> hey, it's December, Ghana. Who <laughs> <Good December. laughs> huh? December, boss? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. What you been up to? Uh, work. Mm-hmm. Work, 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 and more work. Work, 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 work. Hey, you see me in the me. sun, but the brown mm. on town. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was working, and I'm still working on a weekend, like mm-hmm. usual. Working on a weekend, like usual. Can you stop? <laughs> like, now it's getting overrated. <laughs> so I was in Palapi for work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, had the absolute amazing pleasure of hosting uh, the Bupeu CEC presidential dinner, mm-hmm. uh, which was on a Tuesday evening. So Wednesday, Thursday, I was down in Palape. Only came just yesterday. Wow! So I had to appreciate the wonderful people of Palape, and they love the juice 2.0. Uh-huh. I was like, oh my god, TK, 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 TK. It was like, I, I guess, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so modest. I have to. I try. I try. I try. But it's, I see you. it's beautiful down there. Mm. It's just really humble people. It's just really beautiful people down in Palape. So big shout out going out to everybody down there. Everybody that I saw. Everybody that I didn't see. But is part of the amazing landscape of, you know, the beautiful Palape. Mm, How about great. you? How about you? Talk about you. I have, ugh, oh, the past week has been such a whirlwind. That's why I couldn't make it last weekend. Yes. I, I've been moving, you know. Yeah. And hey, it's a lot of work, you know, right. just carrying stuff, getting used to a new environment. Right. And But now I'm just getting adjusted to it. So we back up. Which hood did you move out we to? We up. It's actually the same hood. Oh. Just maybe a few houses down the road. Because <laughs> actually the reason I moved is just, you know how housemate relationships can just get uh, weird. You know, like you sweep a lot of things under the rug and yeah. now the vibes are just off. Right, so right, now I just, right. Maybe, maybe I got to... And you gotta check out. I gotta so, dip, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, yeah, that's basically what happened. So, but now I'm good. I'm happy if you're happy. You know, the new spot looks beautiful. It's comfortable. It's it's not beautiful. It's <laughs> comfortable. It, it a, works. a modest lady like me will survive. It works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, on the Juice 2.0, you get Kim who gives us the latest entertainment news. So, please comment, have your questions around every story that shall come your way on 104962. Please call us. We would love to really, really hear your voice, man. 3956962. And for your WhatsApp, plus 2673956962. And we're also really, really very, very active on all social media at TK Lenin on every social media platform at TK Dimples actually on Twitter how about you? I'm at Kimi oh my bad that's my name right. but my handles are at Zinini underscore Kim yeah. on Instagram and Twitter there we go so hit us up man tag us whatever is going on out there we'll be very very glad to be part of that and be part of this conversation as it starts well when does it start? Yeah, let's get down to it. But uh-huh. firstly, I'd like to send a huge shout out to Lebang for holding down the fort for me. Ah, I yes. really appreciate it, girl. And you did such a good job. <laughs> Amazing. Someone commented on, 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 on the video. It's like, I want to see more of Lebang. I was like, hey, hey. I saw that. I'm like, girl, like, do you hate me? <laughs> like, girl, do you hate me? I was like, Kim better not see. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but it's all love, man. Yeah, it's you all know. love. She did a good job. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Yeah, but um, on to our first story. Um, Trevor Noah did his last 
daily show yeah. episode on Thursday. That's right. And unlike him, I haven't left my job. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I just wanted to mention that in his like final speech, he just wanted to appreciate everyone who made the seven-year run at the Daily Show a great um in, is experience for him. Right. And what touched me the most is how he's like, I want to thank all the black women. That's right. Because they've raised him, they've nurtured him, they've got him yeah. to where he is now yep. and, and to the, like, the bigger things he's going to get up to right. and he pointed out that he wants to appreciate black women the most because they understand um, the nature of things that it's unfair but they know that when things get bad they get worse for them and that's why he just wanted to acknowledge them for their strength that's right Mm. I so saw all that. The best to him in his yeah. future endeavors. Yeah, yeah. I saw that too. And God bless you, travel. And one of these good days, please stop by the Juice 2.0. Let's you know, talk about. Because he's coming back home, but South Africa is just next door. Yes, it's next mm. door. So, you know, let's make it work. Let's talk about your beautiful life story and the life story that so inspires some of us. And I'm a young brother who aspires to be even greater than all these things that you have begun to do. So, and you know what? Hey, Trev, Trev, Trev. The future is so bright. You're smart. You're funny. You're intelligent. Uh, yeah, you know. Like, it's only up from here yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah, true story. I'd also like to congratulate Mdu, the party puppy. The party, the party, the party. <laughs> for his new job at RB2. That's right. So I guess that's why he left Yarana FM. Because yep. now he's hosting the daytime show on yep. RB2. 12 p.m. to 3 uh, p.m. Mm-hmm. Uh, name of the show is The Takeover. Oh, it still hasn't changed because I think that was Miss GK's oh, yeah? show as well. Oh, okay. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I saw him at uh, the YSO party on mm-hmm. Sunday, last week on Sunday. And uh, so when I was saying hi, I was like, yo, bro, let me show you something. You know, because he's my brother like that. So he whoops out his phone and, you know, he shows me the actual thing, the flyer and everything. And then when, he, when it actually came out and everybody was celebrating, I was like, man, some of us being privileged, you know, everything that's happening. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, the, the perks of being in the inner circle. Yeah, you know what? I, the elite. Yeah, mm-hmm. the elite. <laughs> but yeah, big shout out going out to my brother. I appreciate it. I actually have managed to tune into, like when I was driving to Palape. Oh. It was, it was a dude that and was, that, that was taking him out. Transition? Check him out. Uh, so, so the the sad part of that is that I don't I can't tell from you know where it's coming from to where it is. Oh, you mean the transition uh, from where it's coming from? Mm-hmm. Him, from him being an aeronaut to him now being. An <sighs> I I don't have I don't I don't have opinions yet. You know I want to find out a little bit more. I know the music is going to be different. Mm-hmm. You know the vibe is going to be different. You know what I mean because mm-hmm. it's it's more it's more it's it's more. Youth, uh, young, cool kids down at the previous station. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Not too sure you could say the same thing over there. Over at RB2. Yeah. Well, Miss GK's show was sort of also like youth oriented for yeah. the most part. Right. So I think Do's gonna survive yeah. in that aspect. Yeah. Um, but the station as a whole is. It's, it's old. It's one of the oldest stations in the country. Uh-huh. Also has the oldest market. Yeah. So I think that is going to be like his only transition to work on. Right. The older right. market. Right. But I think he's going to do a good job. He'll he's, be he's older as well. He's grown. He's mature. So yeah. How old is how old is Ndu? Isn't he 30 something? I don't know how old Ndu is. <laughs> I thought you knew if she. <laughs> I just know he he's been at Yarana for okay. a long minute. So right, right. if he started like early twenties, yeah, he should be like late twenties, early thirties right yeah, now. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know he was celebrating some ten years or a decade. Imagine in, that in in, in, in uh, radio on radio. Mm. And I was like, man, some of us only have like some five years, you know. That's still a lot, and though. That's still a milestone. It is. It is. But ten years, mm. man, you're you're a legend already. He if is. You had ten years. So. And I, I think that's why he also made the move because he's been at that station for a long time. So he wants to test the waters. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't want to be stagnant at, at a at a spot. At some point, you want to move and stretch mm-hmm. your legs and spread mm-hmm. your wings. Find out what else is there. What else can you know rock your boat and you know tickle your fancy. Yeah, yeah, but that's that with that story. Congratulations to you, Mdu. We'll be listening. That's right. The takeover. <laughs> <laughs>
What else you got for us? Um, Kiki Palma is pregnant. I saw that. So yeah. that was real. That's real. That's. <laughs> I saw a green. You thought it was a, a skit. Yeah, an some, skit. of some sort. Yeah, yeah. of some sort. Because she 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 had a green dress on and something on, and uh, she was dancing and she was holding the tummy as if, uh, as a woman pregnant would hold a tummy out. Yeah, yeah. But that's later on in the in the show because mm-hmm. in the beginning of SNL he she was wearing like this oversized blazer because she right. was still trying to keep the pregnancy under wraps. Right. But she took the opportunity to just tell the world on SNL during her monologue. Yeah. And I'm so happy for her. Yeah. But it's also weird because like we grew up with Kiki like watching her on Disney and I'm like now she's almost in her 30s and she's having a baby. Yeah. That's crazy, <laughs> you know. But I'm also like she has mentioned about wanting to be a mother. Right. So I'm happy that her dreams are coming true that's right mm. i like it for her uh who knocked her up also is it like degrading to ask who knocked her up instead of like who got her pregnant or who is responsible Wh- which one is which one is you just basically say the same thing three times yeah. <laughs> who knocked her up yeah <laughs> so um she's pregnant by her boyfriend darius oh. jackson um right. they've been together for a while so we believe that's who the pregnancy belongs to Awesome. Because also in his social media, he posted she posted Kiki after her announcement. Amazing. And just you know gave her a shout out. So, yeah. 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 What was Happy that thing? Fl- what was that thing flying around about her being ugly? Just cause she went to a game with the boyfriend with her makeup off. Okay. But Kiki has come out and spoken out about suffering with adult acne. Right. So she's still dealing with that. And sometimes you just want to like not wear makeup. Yeah. And just be yourself. Like just be your homebody. Right. Like, so that's why people were calling her ugly because that picture made the rounds. And people mm. were like, oh, she has ugly. Oh, she's so ugly. And then she just came out like, that's such a nasty thing to say. Yeah. You know? Yep. And it is such a nasty thing to say. Like, people who suffer from acne, myself included, would not appreciate to hear that about ourselves. Right, right. Because, like, it's not even about we're trying to be like, oh, beauty's on the inside, but why would you say such a nasty thing? <laughs> Kiki's still beautiful, and That's right. I hope her acne clears. All right. Mm. 724 is your time on the Juice 2.0. And, uh, yeah, we've already started all those stories. Please have your say. Comment and have your say in it. 3956962, you call us on that number. And for your WhatsApp, plus 267-3956962. Your SMS, though, 14962. Let's have a short musical break, and then we'll be back with more Kim on Hashtag On School. She's on your door all you gotta do is you know what whatever you put it in and pour it into you know tallest cup tallest mug tallest jug whatever it is man make sure you don't get all selfish and not let everybody else know to come on the juice 2.0 don't do that don't do that call everybody your friends friends mothers mothers daddies daddies grandpas grandpas i'm getting a message over here from a masejo all the way in Mahalape. what's happening how you doing, Masejo? Good looking out. You say, hi, Tiki. I'm tuned in. Thank you so much. You are part of it. But there's another Masejo who is always on the G2.0, all the way in Block 9 of Gab City. Big shout out going out to you. I know if you didn't text me, it, it don't mean that you're not on. You know, it's probably one of those. But I appreciate you so much. If you're also tuned in, which you are, please let me know who you are and what town, city, village, country that you represent. Kim, what you got? Talk about the Misa Awards and the Bomi Awards happening last oh, yeah. week, but right. we can talk mostly about the Bomi Awards. Right. Um, they took place last weekend. Uh huh. And some of the winners include um Fella for Best Producer, yeah. Best House Quasa Wizards, um Possibina took home Best R and B, Best Package Album went to Boaho Finju, Best Compilation to Chama Girl, Best Quasa Quasa to Slizer. And I'm like, Slizer has new music out. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I looked, that's just a few of the names that caught my eye. Yeah. But I looked through the list and I don't know a lot of the people on the list and I don't know if that's a me problem mm-hmm. or if other people share the same sentiments with me because right. I'm not sure. I guess they're not by popular demand, but they they are there is voting included. There but is. I guess there is submission also included. Yeah. So maybe our favorite artists didn't submit their creative works for right. consideration and right. maybe that's not why I'm seeing their names on here. Right. But yeah, I'd like to congratulate all the winners and just applaud the organization for still standing strong after so many years mm. and giving back to the creatives. They need that. And what we did, need that for further what, movement. What did Freddie Pro win? What I want oh my to do. god! 
Let me look through quickly. Yeah. I don't see him on my list, but I remember I saw him at the event. Uh-huh. Oh, he won Best Remix with Lighty and Young Amazing, featuring Freddie Pro, OZF, Teddy, Sweezer, um, Valentino, Gabby, Ooh, and all, all of them. <laughs> yeah. Let's try and call Freddie Pro real quick. Okay. All right. We're not winning there. Uh, people are not early mornings, man. They are not. They are not. But yeah, big shout out going out to Freddie Pro. I think I was talking to Lati as well over at the YSO Sundays. And uh, Lati had, had to, you know, remind me that he was, he had, what, what's going on? No, nothing. I'm just, you're talking about Lati and I'm just giggling. That's all. You're just giggling because I'm talking about Lati? Yeah, I just remember something he said on the YSO what he say? video. What did he say? No, you're not going to make me say it. <laughs> <laughs> he said it so <laughs> well he did say that he had won a bomb you award and uh it's for best remix so that's the same remix right him lati mm. freddy pro big shout out going out to you guys congratulations is that is that all for the latest entertainment? um we can talk about fill up also happened last fill up, weekend fill up, fill up. yeah i remember i told you that uh a, a couple of local artists were on the lineup yeah, that's right ati that's right. the miss gk's miss gk's showed up and showed out yeah yeah the good going girl and ati didn't show up oh yeah i know ati didn't show up because to him he said they didn't show me where the money yet like where the money yet so he says they didn't show him where the money yet and he didn't see the need to travel all the way there without a check. Okay. But the other side of the story also goes that ATI didn't show up because they cut him off because his demands were too big and too short notice for the show. Because okay. apparently ATI requested a crane and a piano right. and they could have gotten him that. It's just that it was too short notice. So I guess they just didn't find a meeting ground, okay. which is sad, but right. I guess it happens. Better so, luck next time. So this is all apparently... This no, is all apparent. No confirmed anything. All we know is that he was not at the show. Okay. Mm. All right. So I guess we hope to find out, you know, what happened with the with ATI not showing up at the fill up, mm. which should have been a great thing for him to do. It should to, have. To show up. Mm. Uh, so let's hear what the actual story is one of these good days. Maybe we can have a conversation around that. Mm. Yeah, I would allow him to show up, but not for exposure. Yeah. Like I hear people saying V is asking artists to show up at a show for exposure, which is not cool. And the show is happening today, by the way. Yeah. So I want to see. Also, how some that of these things, down. some of these things, you know what? We need to speak to the artists and just, you know, cause, get it from the horse's mouth. Yeah. You know, because it's not fair if V is actually paying people. And then because we just heard people talking about him not paying people that are coming. Also for broadcasting mm. It's not the greatest thing to do It's and not a good you thing know, to do And also if it is true We also need to tell him that yeah. That's not right Yeah mm. So we'll, we'll see We'll see Let it all unfold And find out The truth always comes out uh, And I hope that it's Actually him Paying his people That are coming up Yeah cause I saw you know? that lineup And it's packed Yeah So I'm like Are all those people Showing up for exposure <laughs> I think not <laughs> But we'll hear more about it After the show we happens We gotta We mm. gotta TK we run out of time Okay That's that's how we wrap up This week's edition Of the latest Entertainment news Hashtag on scoop That's right Thank you for watching And I appreciate the feedback You can find me on social media Ugh You got it You got it You got it <laughs> You can find me on social media At Sinina underscore Kim and I'll definitely follow back. I've been talking right. a lot now. I'm talking about my saliva. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That happens to me too. But it's like we keep it moving. You know yeah. what I mean? Thank you so much, Bun. Thank you. Bye. Until next week on a Saturday. One time. What's going on, YouTube? My name is TK of the Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video. And click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.